That is a very ominous beginning for the Lakers. Not so much that they're trailing 5 nothing. by Bobby Simmons out of the ball. You know, this is where you really got to communicate the pitch. Transition. You're not messed up with the guy you're supposed to guard. Odom on the dribble. Spins down inside. Jump hook not there. McGetty with a rebound. Lakers got to get back defensively. Bland left side. Nice head fake. Frees himself and makes another shot. Four for four. Well, again, splitting two defenders. And down at the other end. And that because it has to do with the uh, transition from Rudy T to Frank Hamlin. Luke Walton's playing time going up. McGetty right around him, spins it up beautifully. Talked about keeping Corey McGetty on the perimeter. You have to take a, a half step back, offer him the jumper because he's so creative, so athletic around the basket. Gets to the line a lot and if not, makes some shots just like that. Walton out there, nice rebound by Slava. Pulls oh, off, no, dangerous no, pass. No. McGetty with it. Here comes Jermaine Jones. Kobe erased it. They're going to call goaltending. You're just not allowed to touch it after it hits the glass. And you also cannot have hand, ball, and glass at the same time. If that's uh, happening, uh, constitutes goaltending. Kobe goes up. Hand, ball, glass. Actually, I think the ball touched the glass before. Mm -hmm. Your dribble or cross it over because they are going to be trying to reach around and tap the ball free. So Kobe picks up foul number two, 508 remaining, and you saw the first quarter something around that number. In this quarter, they're four out of 14. McGetty down inside. He heard just to Lakers making a living there. Ten for ten. Nine and a half attempts per game. Both free again doing all of that without moving his pivot foot. The footwork that I because I am running out of descriptive adjectives. Kobe's already made so many spectacular shots tonight. Big round. Arizona's had another fine year. Also Stanford in the mix in that turn. The Clippers with the quicker start than the Lakers as they did in the first quarter. Maggette good on the second free throw since the opening quarter, and he was shooting it pretty well. The Lakers lead is down to four. Brunson, a look at a two-pointer, and it's down to two. Tie or take the lead. The Lakers led by as many as a dozen. Nice crossover dribble. McGetty inside. Did Brand tip that or no. did it fall? It failed. Short-handed Pacers team. The Pacers cut that down to 95-90 before the Lakers. Look out. McGetty's going to have an easy one, and here come the lead for the Clippers. In the last three minutes fueled, by Corey McGetty is attacked to the basket. The Lakers have to find a way to get back into their offense and somehow play some defense. The second man, and that's how Chucky Atkins uh, had the shot attempt. Kamen on the dribble, gets inside, step back, little jump shot, and the run continues. Heard giving up opportunities, they'd be down by more than the half dozen they are. Brunson left open 18 footer that's good again boy 25th point here looking to put the clips up by 10. I mean it, it was as if the scenario was the Lakers don't want to keep this on film this third quarter throw this one away uh, I'm wondering if Kobe will get that rest at both three throws good point lead now for the Clippers it was as high as 11. Side to McGinney. Step back, jump shot, good by Corey. Option. That's why so many NBA teams force baseline. Simmons didn't make him put it on the floor, and he bit hit the iron, so that's a big call. McGinney with it. 227 left. Brunson pull up jumper straight away. And not give up three point plays. Medvedenko matched up on Brand. Seven on the shot clock. Backdoor cut. Simmons layup is good. Missed a big opportunity. And the Lakers and Clippers will...